What up, what up, YouTube? Alex coming back at you with another custom StarCraft II cast spawning. On the top left-hand side of the map, we have our orange hybrid player Rhaegar going up against his opponent spawning on the bottom right-hand side of the map. We have our purple hybrid player Dreadlord. This will be a mirror matchup between some races that I am not super familiar with, but it should be a fun one nonetheless. If you guys are new to my channel, I do cast a lot of custom StarCraft 2 content, so if custom StarCraft 2 is something you're interested in watching, please consider shooting me a subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Now back to the show, Rhaegar. What are you doing, my guy? He is throwing down some cheese he's building a void rift right next door to his opponent the void rift is one of the tier one structures for the hybrid this will build tier one units for the time being but i believe you can tech it up and build higher tier units later on similar to the gateway now Oh man, I don't think Dreadlord realizes this. He, he's he's throwing down a scout. He will see that there's no expansion right here and should see that there's no Void Rift in the main base for his opponent. We do have a Stasis Cell building and I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure if you need a Void Rift to build a Stasis Cell. That is not something I'm aware of, but if you do, this should be a huge red flag for Dreadlord that something weird is happening. We also have the Ionic Crystal right here. This is not like a pylon. You can build things outside of the Ionic Crystal, but the Ionic Crystal creates a network that I believe increases build speed and maybe even movement speed, but I'm not sure about the movement speed. Rhaegar, leave a comment down below and let me know if I'm wrong. Rhaegar able to kill that minion as well, getting one worker kill. What is coming out of this Void Rift? We have what I believe are... You know, I don't know what these things are. Wizards? Maybe not. We'll, we'll see. We'll figure it out once these things come out. <laughs> but we also have the Ionic Crystal right here, which um, tells me that this must increase build speed because there's no other reason to build this Ionic Crystal unless it gives some buff to, to your structures. And look at this. Look at this, uh, this animation right here. You can, like, see the void under this thing. That is so, so sick. I love the skins of this mod. We have a Warbringer. What did I say? Wizard? I was kind of close. But this is, uh, it looks like a spell casting unit. We do have some energy right there. It's blue instead of purple. And I also really like, I really like the, uh, the health bars as well for these units. They're almost like HD but I don't know what the purpose is of the white and the and the green. I don't know if the white is like the shield that regenerates or not. That is something I, I am also not entirely familiar with. But if we look at the HP, we do have shields and health. So I assume, I assume that that white part of the health bar regenerates. Now, Dreadlord was able to shut this down. Do we have anything else building? We have more Warbringers on the way. We also have an expansion that is just now finishing up for Rhaegar, and Dreadlord is not expanding at all. Maybe he thought that, you know, since I'm getting cheesed, may as well not build a, a natural base until the cheese is shut down. So <laughs> Rhaegar may actually find himself ahead right here. We have another Warbringer on the way going up the ramp. Now what I would do, what I would do in Rhaegar's situation is like, look, I already threw away one of my Warbringers. I may as well stockpile a few rather than just run them up the ramp to their death because these warriors are able to shut it down. This warrior so close to dead with zero kills. Who's taking all the glory? The ones that did not get touched are taking all the glory. They're letting this guy do all the work. They're like the guys that show up for the group project last minute and say that they did something. Now, <laughs> we have what is more Warbringers on the way. It looks like Rhaegar realizing what he should be doing. It's possible that this Void Rift was rallied to the main base, and maybe that's why he sent one Warbringer out on its own. At the same time, though, let's take a look at the workers right here. 28 workers to 16 in favor of Rhaegar. So even though Rhaegar's going for a pretty high commitment build right here, building another Void Rift on top of this, uh, he's really not that far behind. We have a Sentinel right here, though. The Sentinel, as far as I know, is a melee unit that can also have some sort of uh, jumping ability. Actually, no, it does have a jumping ability ability that does some damage the the challenge though is you have to physically select the unit to use that ability with now 
I also wanted to mention right here, we have the spirit. The way you built the spirit is you take one of your minions and you effectively evolve it and it becomes an observer, but you have to further upgrade it if you want it to be cloaked like a real observer. But this, uh, this spirit is kind of hard to see right above this, uh, this temple right here. I almost called it a citadel. It's not a citadel. This is a temple. Now, so I wonder, I wonder if, uh, <laughs> if Rhaegar's going to notice this or not, but Dreadlord mo moving this around. So Dreadlord uh, kind of leaving his hiding spot. I'm, I'm not going to lie, but we also have, what, what do we have right here? We have more Warbringers on the way. We have what is also, an, I think, a Sentinel coming out of this Void Rift as well. We have a third base already down for Rhaegar. Man, He's going full expansion right here. Meanwhile, Dreadlord has not expanded at all. He's also not building any workers right now. And just as I said it, is he going to expand? No, he is not going to expand. He's building another Void Rift. We also have a Construct in Anti-Air Mode. One thing that's really cool about these Constructs is you can change them to Anti-Air to Anti-Ground on the spot. It's really cool. You don't have to commit a single building. And look at this. Just as I said it, great timing. Great timing, Dreadlord, changing this to anti-ground. Super cool. We have some Sentinels still coming out of these uh, these Void Rifts, and I think we have a Warbringer coming out of this Void Rift as well. Now, uh, one thing Dreadlord really needs to do, though, he really needs to expand, because let's look at the worker count. 41 workers to 18. It's possible Dreadlord's not entirely familiar with this race, and to be fair, the first time I played, or the first time I attempted to play the hybrid, I had no idea what I was doing. I was floating so much money, it was actually insane, and to be fair, Dreadlord is floating 1,100 minerals, has, what, 29 gas, which is probably why he's floating so many minerals. Uh, getting some more Void Rifts would help him spend more more money we have what is also going to be a potential push coming out from orange but no he he decided to not he decided to not do it he's like okay i'm gonna trickle eggs we're, we're gonna go ahead and push just kidding we're not <laughs> and we also have this anti-ground construct right here as well and another anti-ground construct so he's going full commit to this cheesy play right here we also have an engine I'm not entirely sure what the engine does. I wonder if this builds higher tier units, but here we go. We have what is possibly going to be a push towards the main base. I was going to say the natural base, but the main base of of the hybrid player but i don't know i don't know if Rhaegar actually noticed what is going to be a push towards his main base as well. And here we go. We finally have an engagement right here. These Sentinels going down. These Warbringers doing a ton of damage able to take out the entirety of the purple army back home we do have this construct right here i'm not entirely sure how much damage this does it does a decent amount of damage may actually be able to clean up these warbringers and it will this uh anti-ground construct able to shut down the push from orange and now we have Rhaegar's natural base in jeopardy this sentinel eating up these uh minions for breakfast i almost said warriors i don't know why so it looks like <laughs> it looks like the natural base will go down for Rhaegar. Dreadlord able to get his vengeance right here. How many workers went down? 18, 19 workers going down. The natural base goes down. Rhaegar still has his third base up and running, though. And we have some Void Rifts right here, but we don't have any stack static defense. And we have one Warbringer. Dreadlord just go up the ramp. Yes, and just as I said it, he's listening to me. Dreadlord, it's almost like, it's almost like we choreographed this, but we did not. We did not choreograph this at all. <laughs> this Ionic Crystal going down. These Warbringers trying to defend the main base, but will ultimately go down, able to take out one more Warrior. And now we have what is one Warrior and one Warbringer. Where is the army for Rhaegar? Rhaegar, I think, is going for a sort of base race. What I would do in this situation is uh, move one of my bases right here, like the third base location, just because so much of his production is way out of the way. It would be a lot easier for him to defend his production if he had a base right here or defend his base if he has all his production already right here is what I should say. We have another Harvester on the way. This Harvester must have gone down. I could have sworn. I could have sworn that Dreadlord had two Harvesters already. We also have a Void Portal. This thing looks sick. I'm not sure what it builds, though. <laughs> And we have some Sentinels right here. It looks like they will clean up those Warbringers with the help of this anti-ground construct. And now... 
it also looks like Rhaegar was able to clean up the two units in his main base. We do have this uh, this uh, Warbringer right here with the one kill. So, man, this is still I, kind of anybody's game. But if if Dreadlord doesn't expand anytime soon, <laughs> man, he's going to mine out his main base. And then he's as good as done. And just as I said it, he queued up one of these temples. We do have a Sentinel right here for Rhaegar, though. May actually be able to deny this. Will Dreadlord get the cancel on this or destroy this Sentinel is the question. Dreadlord finally, finally reacting to this, able to take out the Sentinel. Man, these Sentinels are super sick looking. Uh, they look more like zerg to me they almost look like dinosaurs and we also have the dreadnought the dreadnought is a super cool unit i can't remember if it shoots up or down but i'm getting uh i'm getting anti-ground vibes but it's possible this is an anti-air hybrid unit so we will see Rhaegar not bothering with uh rebuilding his natural base but does have uh a decent amount of production being built in his main base and things have stabilized worker count has has also equalized it's now 29 workers to 20. Rhaegar not replacing those 19 workers that he lost we also have what is going to be the, <laughs> the army still being produced right next door dread dreadlord has not scouted this at all let me just double check that no he has not he has no idea what's over here right next door to his main base we also finally have this natural base finished up this should allow dreadlord to stay in this game a little bit with the money he has what i would do in this situation being 11 minutes into the game is double expand put yourself on three bases and or sorry four bases and jump up ahead in economy and go ahead and win the game macro up and push out and win this game my guy let's go I love the voices for these hybrids as well. Our cause is just very cool. Very cool design. I am thoroughly impressed with this uh, this custom modded race. It looks like the Sentinel coming in right on time to destroy this temple. We'll destroy the minion building this thing. We'll ideally force the cancel. If Rhaegar notices, will Rhaegar get the cancel on this is the question though does not get the cancel on that that was a free 400 minerals and now dreadlord going into the main base of his opponent this anti-ground construct will go down this anti-ground construct just a little bit too far from the action this warbringer will go down and now i think we're in a, ra a base race situation right here the natural base for dreadlord will go down and and if this does become a base race situation uh, Rhaegar will end up ahead because he has all his stuff spread all over the map. He has his production spread towards his uh, his opponent's base, and he also has this hidden third base that Dreadlord does not know about. This anti-ground construct will go down. This ionic crystal will also go down. There's nothing being built from this void rift. Uh, what I would do potentially is evacuate this main base and go somewhere else, and now Oh, uh, Dreadlord. I think Dreadlord will lose this base race situation, though. He's only got two units on the field. He's got two Silence and maybe some other army units, but I, I really don't think he's got a lot of army. He's got nine army supply, but I don't know where the rest of it is, unless that is uh, two Silence, which is hard to imagine. That would equal nine army supply. And all these workers running away. Where are you guys running? There's enough money. There's enough money to build another base. Dreadlord. Dreadlord. Oh, my God. My guy. <laughs> Able to escape. But now we have... We have his uh, his structures being revealed, and it looks like Rhaegar going in for the kill may destroy these remaining buildings, and that would be it. I really don't know what Dreadlord... Uh, what Dreadlord's plan is right here, unless it's okay, it's to build, uh, it's to build another temple. And now we are in the base race situation. All these structures will go down, but Dreadlord, I'm really not sure what else you can do, my guy. And he has no idea that there is all this stuff, all this stuff right next door to his base. This cheesy play was not scouted in the entire 14 minutes. <laughs> But I respect him. I respect him for trying to stay in this. It's possible he thinks that this is all Rhaegar has left. But looking at the amount of army supply that Rhaegar has, he should realize that there was not really a lot here. There was not a lot to go off of. 
uh, in terms of building units. So that should tell him that there is some production somewhere else on the map. And now we have... <laughs> We have the minions long distance mining. This may actually give Rhaegar away. What I would do in this situation as well. The silent is almost dead. Oops, excuse me. What I would do in this situation is just surround the silent and destroy it. He is so close to dead. He's got 33 HP and he's got so many kills. He's got 10 kills. How many workers went down? 28 workers killed by purple. 27 by orange. And here we go. We have, we have the sneaky base spotted by Rhaegar. I gotta respect Dreadlord, though. Trying to stay in this game to the very last breath, but this will end the game. Dreadlord losing by default. We do not see that too often. Crazy cool hybrid mirror matchup game. If you guys enjoyed what you saw, please consider shooting me a like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it, and if you want me to cast any of your own games, I will leave my email and Discord in the description below. And I'll see you guys on the next one.